Receiving Dash and Dot is very exciting for both you and your students. When they arrive, why not share in the fun by opening the box with them? Let them get excited and see what's inside because these robots are going to be spending a lot of time with you and your students. And you'll quickly see the bonds these students form with these two outgoing personalities. Now as you unpack your boxes, you'll find Dash and Dot and some accessories along with an instructional booklet. You'll also be receiving a micro USB charging cable which will charge Dash and Dot. And in fact, the robots are already charged and ready to go once you unpack them. Now when it comes time to charge, you'll want to plug them into a USB charger, which are typically found on iPads, Android tablets, or Kindle Fires, but any USB charging brick will work to fully charge Dash and Dot. And when fully charged, which takes approximately one hour, you'll get three hours of play, which is perfect for you and your classroom, because you can use Dash and Dot in the morning, charge them quickly at lunch, and have time to play with them for the rest of your day. You'll also be receiving accessories like the Lego connectors, which will allow you to build your own accessories, create fun costumes, or connect the robots together to take Dot for a ride. You will quickly see how well made Dash and Dot are. From their toy tough plastic shell, you can be sure that they'll stand up to many, many days of use in your classroom. And because they're tough, you can easily wipe them down to keep them clean and germ free. So we recommend cleaning materials that are not abrasive, so we don't damage the robot's beautiful blue shine. And you know what? Let your students help in this process. They'll love taking ownership of Dash and Dot, and perhaps set up a Dash and Dot car wash time to let the students have fun, cleaning, and learning the process of how to take care of items within their schools. Taking proper care of the robots will ensure a long life of use and fun in your classroom.